Today we're talking about magnets on the workbench. How one of the concern, one of the concerns that we run into a lot with these machines uh, is we have things like these magnetic and hoops. And can we put them near our machine? We have these magnetic hoops, which and then, I love, love, love. I got my yep. bigger one, and I got it all taped up. If you guys got a luminaire and you haven't sprung for the bigger one yet, do it. I don't. So know. back to the. Uh, Magnets, because you also have things like these, these magical, these black magic wizard the pin pins. The pin, because the pin and, and, and so what you, but some people say, well, if, if as long as it's not a powerful magnet, you'll be fine. I can tell you, this is a very powerful They're magnet. so powerful, I can't get them apart. Yes. So, but there's a my little kitten hand. There's this concern <laughs> that we're putting magnets near our, our machines, we're going to screw something up. Because we all know yeah. that magnets are bad for computers. Right? We've been told that. And we are wrong. Because there's magnets in the computer. Yes, but you know how powerful a magnet you need? Then that's for a solid, that's for a regular hard drive. These have okay. no hard drives in oh, These are all okay. solid state. Okay. So um, magnets do not affect solid state computering. But, but so just, to, just so you know that I'm not making this up, I had to research why do we think magnets are bad for computers. Because we've been told they are. The, but yeah, but they were. Do you know when they were bad for computers? Well, I don't know, 1930 when it was water cooled? Nope. Um, cassettes. Cassette tapes you can erase with a magnet. Did you know this? Oh, yeah. We used to do all our backup was on cassette tapes. Yeah, and, and, if, you the run, old and if you run a magnet erase, over cassette tape, it'll it erase, erase it. it. Because yeah. cassette tapes use magnetism Magnet. to store the data. They do. And early floppy disks use the same technology as cassette tapes to store data. <sighs> So, oh, it would destroy the early clock. floppy disks were very prone to uh, magnetic corruption. Well, that makes sense. But we have not used mag magnets to store data for I mean, if you're still, centuries. if you're using <laughs> floppy disks still, magnets are the least of your problems. I wonder if any of you even know what a floppy disk is. Some people are because I know there's somebody out there still sewing on a ULT 2002 brother. And they used floppies. Yeah, that's why that's why people trade them in. They're, they're, they're fantastic embroidery machines, but the problem is you can't get floppies Floppy. for them anymore, so people trade and them in. And then you need something to write to yeah. a floppy. So magnets um, do not affect your will not affect your machine. They will not affect thumb drives. Some people think, well, maybe the thumb drive. No, all of the data now is stored binarily through um, electro electrical polarity, plus or minus, you know, negative or positive. That is not magnetic polarity. So you don't need to worry about magnets anymore because we're using ele electri electricity versus ma magnetism to write the data. Does that to hold your yeah. scissors? Yeah, and so magnets will not affect um, don't affect modern electronics, and they will not affect your machine. So you can use your magnetic hoop, you can use your super super magical pin cushion, and you don't need to worry about it. The magnets will not affect anything. True. But anyway, so I, that that was my workbench for the day: is that magnets are magical and they're not bad.